and welcome. Today, I want to show you how to use a metahuman as your third person character in Unreal Engine 5.1. Before we proceed with today's tutorial, I want to get, give a big thank you to everybody who helped out with the last tutorial in the comments section, helping users. I haven't updated this tutorial for a while and the information they gave was invaluable and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. To begin, let's create a new blank third person project. Check that everything's working. It is. And now let's import our metahuman. I've already downloaded a metahuman. I will simply add it to my project, enable all the settings and restart the engine. With the engine restarted, open up your third person blueprint. And while we're here, let's open up our metahuman blueprint. Now they should be side by side in separate tabs. First, go to class settings and choose the parent class BP third person character. Select body. This should automatically set, select all the children underneath and drag it onto mesh. Body and everything else underneath it should now be a child of mesh. Delete root and hit compile. We get an error. Come down to compiler results and find target and click it and it should take us to the error. Get children components requires mesh. So drag mesh and place it into target and our error disappears. Now let's fix the warnings. Find the input to this node and find get skeletal mesh asset. Connect the outputs and delete the original node. Now repeat the process for the other warnings. That's it. We now have no warnings and no errors. Go to your third person blueprint, go into the event graph and select everything. Zoom in, hold down control and deselect event begin play. Now everything is selected except event begin play. Control C to copy. Go back to your metahuman blueprint. Go into the event graph and control V to paste. Next, zoom in and find event begin play and hair lod setup. We need to connect the output of hair lod setup into cast player controller. And hit compile. Select the body of your metahuman and zero out the location and the rotation. Select mesh, search for visible and in visible visibility based anim tick option choose always tick pose and refresh bones. Go to variables, find live retarget Use live retarget mode and set the default value to true and compile. As you can see, our metahuman is now retargeted. There is a problem with the arms. Let's fix that now. Find the live retarget setup function, double click it and zoom in. Find this node and click the browse icon. It should take you 
to our animation blueprint. Here it is. Open that up and click on the anim graph. Choose the retarget pose from mesh node and in IK retargeter asset, choose the browse button. Duplicate this IK retargeter and rename it. Click the arrow button to assign it to our blueprint and compile. Open up the IK retargeter and you will be presented with this. In source IK rig asset, choose IK mannequin and choose Quinn as the source preview mesh. Keep the target IK rig asset as IK metahuman but choose chart target preview mesh the same as your metahuman. In my case, it's M, medium, normal weight, body, preview. At this point, it's probably a good idea to pose your characters. I won't be doing it in this tutorial to save time. Next, come over to chain mapping. Find the left arm. And in the details of the IK, Blend to source to zero and do the same for the right arm. IK, blend to source, zero. Hit save. We can now close that IK retargeter, compile our animation blueprint, close that, and there we have it. Our arms are now fixed. If you have problems with the hips, etc., you can fix it the same way. Go to the content draw, go to third person, blueprints, and BP third person game mode. Find the default pawn class and set it to your metahuman blueprint. In my case, BP wrote to me. Hit compile and save. And now if hit play, our metahuman is now our third person character. If you would like to support the channel, you can go to the link in the description and buy me a coffee from buymeacoffee.com. Alternatively, you can click the thanks button underneath this video and help that way. More tutorials are on the way, but for now, could you please hit the like and subscribe button and comment below with any questions. I will see you in the next one.